You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Ink Dependence. I'm Mike, and this is going to be an ink by Esterbrook. This is a new set of inks that have come out from Esterbrook, which is now owned by Kenro. This ink is not actually the one we're looking at today, but they sent out a bunch of samples and also one of these bottles for me to show so that you can see what the bottle looks like. So this is the empty bottle. I assume the one that you buy in the store will be full, uh, but uh, there you go. These are 50 mil bottles and there's not much else on here as far as as far as information, it doesn't even have the name of the ink on the bottle. Unfortunately, I kind of kind of wish it did, but you'll be able to see what color it is, and it'll have that dot, and it'll have uh, what uh, what ink it is on the back here. But these do remind me a bit of the uh, the German bottles you get from brands like Kaweco and Seitz Kreuznach and some of these others that use a smaller version of this bottle. This is a fairly large bottle at 50 mils. Also nice and heavy. It's a, it's a good size bottle. All right. Let's look at what this ink looks like on paper. We're actually looking at this ink today, which is Esterbrook's Shimmer Aqua and also Aqua. It's a twofer, folks. A twofer. So I've had this in two pens. One is this little Rotring 600 Newton pen, which has got this awesome lava finish. And this has had the regular Aqua ink in it for a while. And then I've had it in this pen, which is a Diplomat Arrow. This is the Flame. And uh, this has had the shimmer in it for quite a while. I actually tried the shimmer first. So I'm like, let's see what the shimmer is all about. And it's actually a very nice shimmer. You do get quite a bit of shimmer in the words and such, as you can see right here. And uh, in the swatch, it comes out nicely as well. And you can see hints of it here and here. And then sometimes uh, down like in here, the shimmer just kind of disappears a little bit, which is, I mean, it happens with shimmer inks, right? Sometimes you just don't get a whole lot of shimmer right there, or it was uh, maybe laying down flat, and I didn't, I didn't give it the the shimmer roll to get that shimmer moving again before I started using it. Is probably what happened, but uh, you can see the shimmer does pop up again right there. So pretty good stuff. I I have really enjoyed the feel of this ink on paper and on the nib. So in the regular uh, Esterbrook Aqua you get a really nice sort of medium dark blue here, which is absolutely office appropriate and sort of just general life appropriate. This is one of my favorite shades of blue. And I'm going to show you a whole bunch of <laughs> a whole bunch of uh, comparisons here in just a little bit. So stay tuned. All right. So this is my usual Rhodia 80 grams per square meter paper, which uh, I have I switched to this lined one from the from the uh, the dots I usually use because that one was being a little bit bleedy. This one there's no problems at all. Flow on these has been great. I've had them inked up for quite a while. Let's see when I inked these up. Uh, May. And I've had no problems. I mean, I've refilled it a couple of times. I'm getting low on that sample. I may have to buy this one because this is a really nice blue. Minor, very minor bleed on the 20 pound paper. Let's take a look at that right quick. It's this line up here at the top. Right there with the, uh, the, the shimmer and then the not so shimmer. You can actually see the shimmer here on the copy paper too, which is nice. And then there on the back, a little bit of uh, bleed through on dots and such where I paused, but this is that 20 pound, 30% recycled staples paper that is pretty much the, the crappiest thing you'll find in your office. So yeah, not, uh, not unexpected. And I haven't had any problems on any other papers. It's been very nice. So, Here's uh, qualities, mild shading. You can see a little bit of shading here and there. Not a huge amount, but not zero. You can actually see it up here uh, where it says Esterbrook as well. It's got a little bit of shading there. All right. And uh, of course, shimmer. Nice, nice shimmer. And as I say here, I'm impressed with this ink. It's a very nice ink and I have really enjoyed using it in these pens. Like it just feels like it's got a, it's got a really nice smooth flow. It's got, it's, it feels good. I don't know how else to explain it. It just feels nice. Sometimes you get inks that feel a little bit draggy because they're kind of dry or they, uh, they have too much flow. This one is like a solid medium and it just kind of feels smooth and steady and I dig it. Not a problem to be found. So, uh, as I say here, uh, I'm a little bit surprised that this is so good, honestly, because ink chemistry can be kind of hard, and uh, sometimes like it's easy to mess up ink. Like you get a little too much water, it becomes dry. You get a little too much, uh, too much surfacant, it becomes way too wet, and it floods. This is this is good stuff. I dig it. All right, so let's do the water test. Look at the chromatography, uh, and then look at it on some other papers and comps. You know, you know the drill. So let's get some water on the subject here. Handy dandy syringe. 
Come on, get unstuck. Ooh. Ooh. All right, good enough. <laughs> Got a little bit stuck there. All right. Give it a little shake and a shimmy. Spread it out a little bit. Oh, oh, don't get too crazy, Mike. Okay. All right, let's mop it up. Remember, blot. Don't scrub. All right. See, a lot of the blue came away. A little bit of purple tinge there, even, which is cool. And uh, yeah, no real problems. I mean, some of the blue came away. I wouldn't say this is waterproof, but if you spill your coffee on it, you'll have some. You'll have enough words and such left to be able to make it out. Although it will definitely smudge, for sure. Not waterproof. Not a surprise. All right. Here is the chromatography for this ink, and I think it's actually very cool. Some blues, you just get blue. There's just nothing else there. But this one has a little bit of other stuff. So I used the shimmer ink for this one, as you can see down here, this little line of shimmer right there. But then you get a little bit of violet up in here, like barely pink, some dark blue at the top. Very interesting chromatography. Uh, I think it looks pretty cool. I also like how the shimmer just kind of stays in place. Isn't that neat? That's neat. All right. So here it is on some other papers. Here we have the Inky Fingers. This is Wheat Straw Paper, which is some of my favorites. Uh, and there's the Aqua right there. And uh, it looks fine on this paper. Let me uh, just give it a little bit of a little bit of new scribble. There we go. It's looking a little bit light on here. And Aqua definitely comes off a bit darker in general. Now it will uh, lighten up as it dries. But, uh, you know, there you go. I think there might have been a little bit of water or, I don't know, something in there going on. And then, here is the regular aqua, which I think came out really nicely. Right there, from this, uh, this Rotring Newton 600. Good medium blue, nice, uh, nice shade, good look. I like it. Okay. Great. Great. Also, I think maybe a little bit of evaporation has gone on here because this does look a bit darker than uh, than I expected. But that's what happens when you have ink in a pen for a while uh, and just kind of like keep refilling it. All right. Here it is on Tomoe River in an ink journal. I meant to pick up some more ink journals at the DC Pin Show and totally forgot. There's the Shimmer Aqua on here. And you can see it's definitely a bit lighter, which is, uh, which is cool. Then right here is the regular Aqua. Right there, looking nice. You can also see some of the other Estabrook colors uh, that will be coming up on the on the blog here soonish. Uh, cobalt blue here, evergreen here, and then tangerine, which is a very nice kind of yellowy orange color. So there you go. There you go. All right. So time for some color comparisons. Here's aqua and shimmer aqua. The shimmer aqua does definitely come off a little bit darker. I'm not exactly sure why, but it definitely does. Uh, which is, I mean, it's fine with me. I don't mind. But you can see that the uh, that the high tones are the, are identical in these two. But the Shimmer Aqua does seem a little bit darker. I don't know if that's the inclusion of the glitter or the shimmer there or uh, what the story is. But it's a little bit darker on the shimmer. And, uh, and I dig it. Also, I got to say, the shimmer has not stopped up my pen in the few months I've had it in there. Five, ooh, so like three months, give or take. And I've refilled it a, to a couple times at least during that time. Uh, and the shimmer has never stopped up that medium nib, so that's uh, that's that's good shimmer right there. All right, we'll leave those two there, and then we'll do some some color comparisons underneath them. I think. All right. So here is Ackerman's number three, Ackerman Blau, and I was looking kind of at the high tones and such uh, when I was pulling this one. It's not really the same, but uh, some of the same tones going on. Then Pen BBS Centurini, which is a very nice blue. I got this a uh, couple of years ago in DC. This is a really nice looking blue, and I think it's got a lot in common there. Then uh, Krishna Sailors. Krishna Sailors has some of the same blue tones up here and here. Uh, and then it gets real dark, a bit like Shimmer Aqua does, but it also has a little bit of a sheen, as you can see here on this Colodex card, uh, whereas Aqua just doesn't do a sheen. Then Monteverde Horizon Blue, which is one of my favorite blues. I think Horizon Blue is gorgeous. And uh, Supernova from Colorverse, which has a lot of the same color tones, but then it adds a red sheen on top. So if you like a sheener, 
It's hard to go wrong with that one. Then this one, which has been discontinued, unfortunately, was Birmingham Pym Company Cathedral Learning Panther Blue, which was a favorite of mine before it went away. And it has a lot in common with Esterbrook Aqua. I told you, this is a color that I'm real into, and that's why I've got a lot of samples. Uh, here we go. Monteverde's Emotion Series, which is lighter. And I, when I reviewed this, and I'm like, I don't know, it's fine, this confidence blue. But I wish it was this. <laughs> so this one is just not as good as Esterbrook Aqua, I don't think. Then you've got Colorverse Cat. If you want to compare some shimmering ones. Now, Cat has different colors of shimmer going on in there and a sheen. It's a much more complicated ink than Shimmer Aqua, but it does have some things in common. And then, of course, Ji Herban, who sort of started off this whole shimmer trend, does a silver glitter in Kainai du Nepal, which is, uh, I think, pretty nice. And a fairly, like, it's a similar-ish blue. It's actually a little bit closer to the regular Aqua than the Shimmer Aqua, which tends to be a bit darker. Uh, could also be, now that I'm thinking about it, the Shimmer Aqua like stuck to the letter opener better, and so I got more ink on the page. I don't know, it's hard to say. But uh, kind of close, very different shimmer there. So I don't have anything that's exactly like this. And uh, I've enjoyed writing with it. It's pretty cool. It really sparks up my notes, to tell you what. All right. So this has been... Esther Books, Shimmer, Aqua, and Aqua. You can find these at lots of retailers right now, and I will tell you the price is kind of all over the place. Uh, I know the retail price, the MSRP, is 30 bucks, and so some people are discounting it down to like 24. Others are charging a bit more for the shimmer, so your mileage will vary depending on where you find this ink. The, the price varies wildly. I mean, wildly? I don't know. Within like 10 bucks on a $30 ink is, is kind of wild. So, uh, you know, look for a deal, look for a sale but really nice ink and I've, I've really enjoyed it so there you go thanks very much uh, Kenro for sending this out for review I appreciate it and I'll be showing more of these Esterbrook inks as uh, as the weeks progress so uh, peace out and uh, take care of each other see you in the next video bye bye